A very good morning. In today's class, we will be doing the testing for the iodide ion. For the iodide ion, Navya will be taking the salt first. To the salt, initial step for anion testing is you need to add dilute sulfuric acid. So she will be using the dilute sulfuric acid. You need to observe why the acid is being added. No change, no gas, no bubbles. Shows that the first group of anions is absent, namely carbonate, sulfite, sulfide, and nitrite. So this can be discarded. Now she will be taking the fresh sample of salt again to move ahead in the anion testing. To the fresh sample, she will be now adding concentrated sulfuric acid with a dropper. Because it is a corrosive acid, please pay attention. You need to observe while the acid is added. There is a brownish colored gas. Actually, it is violet in tinge, but the distinguishing is difficult. There is some violet variation in it along with dark brown colored gas. In the upper end, there is a violet coloration observed, but otherwise it is pretty dark, dense fumes which are visible. Of course, you cannot confirm at this stage whether the gas is bromine or whether it is iodine. You need to confirm it through the organic layer test, but for sure, one out of the two, bromide or iodide, is present. One out of the two gases, which could be the Br2 or it could be I2, is being formed by the sulfuric acid, which is an oxidizing agent, able to oxidize your iodide to an I2 or your bromide to a Br2. So moving ahead, for the confirmatory test, either you can use the same test tube or you can use a fresh one. You first require the OS or the water extract. What do we mean by that? Salt dissolved in water. You can use the tap water also. Check the contents to get the original solution of the salt. Once your original solution is ready, you need to add the organic layer to it. That is an organic solvent. We are using chloroform. You can also use carbon tetrachloride or CS2. Chloroform being heavier than water, denser than water, takes up the lower layer. You can see there is there are two layers in the solution showing water and the organic layer, which is the heavier layer. Now you need to add chlorine water to it. Chlorine water is not available in the lab. You need to prepare it. How do you go about it? You will be using KMnO4 around 1 ml. It's a purple colored solution. To this you need to add concentrated HCl till the color changes. Tilt the test tube a little to get a better view. Keep adding concentrated HCl till the color changes and it tells. That's it. So your solution which is ready is your chlorine water. What has happened is KMnO4 is oxidizing your HCl into Cl2. That is the required oxidizing agent for the organic layer test. Now, your OS has OS plus organic layer. Add the chlorine water 1 to 2 ml to it and wait. You can see there is a change in color in the upper aqueous layer which means your iodide is changing into iodine. Shake the contents vigorously so that the I2 formed dissolves into the organic layer. Continue shaking, continue shaking till at least for one or two minutes so that maximum of iodine formed by oxidation of iodide by the help of chlorine water and oxidizing agent converts it into I2 which is a covalent compound which starts dissolving in your organic layer. And if you remember, the organic layer was the lower layer. So your lower layer is turning violet, is indicating that I2 is formed and which is now indicating that your OS had an I minus. So we ended the organic layer test for iodide where the organic layer turns pinkish violet. With this, we close the test for iodide. Thank you.